Coming out as a conservative was definitely more difficult than coming out as a gay man for me. Coming out as gay was very easy for me. As I said, my family were all very supportive of me. My friends were all very supportive of me. Everyone in my wider peer group, anyone who I've ever met through you know, politics, through work, through study, I've had no issues with coming out as gay. Coming out as conservative though... Um, By and large, um, society at the stand seems to be much more accepting of homosexuals than it does of people who support traditional values. They just hate everything that I love. They hate me because I'm a conservative. And they hate me more because I'm a gay conservative. And I can say to them, you know, just because I'm against same-sex marriage, I'm gay. I'm not a homophobe. I love, I love gay men. Um, <laughs> you can't call me a homophobe just because I oppose same-sex marriage, just because I'm I'm up against your agenda. You can't shout me down the way you can most people. You can't shout me down by saying that I'm a bigot and that I'm a homophobe. Uh, you get attacked online. You get people making comments about your mental health, which is something I never expected to hear from these people that preach tolerance. I've had people say that I only believe the things that I do because I come from a broken family, that I have internalised homophobia, that I hate myself, I'm suicidal, I'm depressed, all kinds of absolutely vile comments. The official no campaign from you know, Christian groups, um, from various family groups, from the conservative side of the political spectrum, it has all been tremendously respectful of homosexual people. By and large, I think the debate around the same-sex marriage plebiscite so far has been all the points I've heard from groups such as the Coalition for Marriage, the Australian Christian Lobby, while people obviously disagree with them, I think they've been respectful, well thought out, pretty well justified. And every statement by bishops in Australia in favour of traditional marriage has said loud and clear, homosexuals are people endowed with the dignity of every other human being in Australia. They have dignity, they have rights, but arguing for the traditional view of marriage, the view of marriage that I personally hold and many other people in Australia hold to be correct, arguing against that is not bigotry. In terms of activists and people involved in groups like Brisbane Pride, um, Rainbow Labor, LGBTIQ interest groups around Brisbane, they are more than happy to welcome anyone and tolerate their beliefs until you disagree with them. And I just think it's a shame that um, this kind of free, reasonable debate doesn't exist within the gay community. It's either you agree with this overarching authority or you're completely shunned and your voices are ignored. But it is extremely disappointing that we apparently can't have a sensible debate about issues like this that do affect us and that there are members of the gay community who have contrary views on it. Most people who are for same-sex marriage don't understand the people who are actually pushing for it. And if the ordinary Australians who saw these people who are pushing for same-sex marriage, the ones who are orchestrating it, they would be horrified. You know, most gay people would be horrified by these absolute radicals who just want to tear the fabric of Australian society apart and just cause they are the ones using divisive rhetoric. They are the ones people calling people bigots and homophobes. I have not heard one anti-gay slayer used by the no campaign at all. And yet the yes campaign just hammers on with just that slur of bigot, bigot, bigot. It's ridiculous. When you see gay people against same-sex marriage, when you see people with homosexual family members and homosexual friends, Using the term bigot in that situation, it's just appalling. I've had a lot of exposure at university and in my personal life to the yes and the no campaigns, and I've changed my mind. I've seen the bullying, the abuse, the absolute vile comments that come out of the yes side, and it is no longer a movement that I can support or take seriously.